Living off grid in Canada, is it illegal? Recent years saw a steep rise in people desiring to live off grid in Canada and the US as well. So, first things first, is living off grid illegal in Canada? The short answer is that technically it is not illegal. Your house can be solar powered, you can grow your own food, and so on. However, there are national building codes that you must follow. Also, you cannot squat on someone else's land. The answer is somewhat complicated, so let's try to get a full picture and with it the full answer to our question. Is it illegal to live off grid in Canada? Off grid means that your abode is not connected to the country's power grid. The off griders produce their own electricity, usually by using solar panels. However, some restrictions apply. There is a known case in the off-grid community about a woman in Nova Scotia who tried to live in her own tiny off-grid house because she did not wish to leave a footprint on the world. Unfortunately, the local authority has denied her occupancy because the building codes demanded that every occupied space must have ventilation and smoke detectors. Her house now stands empty because there are restrictions that you must be mindful of. So, always check your local building codes. As for the woman, she can install smoke detectors, ventilation system, and power them by batteries or a solar collector. Can I live off-grid if I don't own the land? There are no squatter rights in Canada. You can't just place your small house or tent on a random patch of land. The law will come after you. It's even worse if you are not an actual Canadian resident. There is also a question of how off-grid you desire to be. The aforementioned Nova Scotian lady was somewhat extreme and she intended to live without the electricity. Some imagine off-grid as completely living in the woods, hunting and foraging. Building on someone else's lot prevents you from enjoying some of the common comforts. For instance, receiving letters and parcels with your online purchases. The Canadian government and Canada Post will not play along with your off-grid initiative. The governing body will not accept any illegal subdivision of the land that already has a permanent address. The same goes for other services you'd like to have in your off-grid home. Some off-griders would still like to enjoy an access to the internet, a phone, maybe satellite TV. These of course are supplied by various companies and the companies will require a legal street address before they install their services. Do you have to pay taxes if you live off the grid? Living off the grid usually does not mean you become a completely free man who stands up to the government and is completely independent of the country's laws. You can grow your own food and produce your own electricity, but it is not possible to completely avoid taxes. First of all, there are the usual income taxes that every citizen pays. Even if you see yourself ideologically free from the state and the government, no one can avoid the tax man forever. Additionally, even if you have the permit to build and you own the property, there are of course property taxes. These mostly depend on the square footage, but also on several other factors, such as the geographical location. Find out what the local law in your area says about the property taxes before you decide to settle. Can I insure myself if I'm living off the grid? The off breeders invest a lot of time and sometimes money into their homes. So, along with the legality question, they started asking whether they can be covered by insurance. The solar panels alone can sometimes cost tens of thousands of dollars sole investment that should be insured. And of course, there's also the house, its surroundings and the people living there. However, it gets tricky. According to many insurance companies, one of their concerns is the off-grid lifestyle. If you live with no heat or water, they will refuse to insure you. If your house has a stove or a fireplace and is made of wood, they will see it as a fire hazard and again will refuse to insure. What you should do 
is to consult with a representative of a more willing company and see whether you need to upgrade your house in order to get insured. If you have taken all necessary precautions, if you are not living in unhealthy conditions, then the insurance is possible. All in all, different provinces have different laws and living conditions. Therefore, it is important to check laws and regulations for each place. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, please like it and subscribe to support our channel. For more information about off grid living, how much it costs, how to prepare, and much more, please visit our site and enjoy our articles on these and other topics. Have a great day.